Russian media is reporting that fugitive Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych is in Russia and has received guarantees of protection from Moscow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yanukovych was said to be holed up in a luxury government retreat and to have scheduled a news conference Friday near the Ukrainian border. CCTV's Daria Bondarchuk continues our team coverage from the Russian capital. Russian news agencies have been reporting that he is here and that he remains defiant. The reports say Yanukovych issued this statement. Obviously, the people in southern Ukraine and Crimea are refusing to accept the anarchy and actual lawlessness in the country where ministers are elected by the mob on the square. Yanukovych still insists he is Ukraine's legitimate president and Russia agrees. If the media reports are true, Russia also has agreed to guarantee his safety as long as he is on the Russian soil. Throughout the day, Russian officials refuse to confirm Yanukovych is here, possibly even in the Russian capital. One of the places Yanukovych is rumored to stay is Hotel Ukraine, here in the heart of Moscow. He was then supposedly driven down this road to state resort outside the city. Meanwhile, Russia put its Western Military District Army on high alert, taking part in SNAP military exercises only, as defense officials assured. As tensions in the Crimea Peninsula escalate, Russian analysts reject any suggestion that Moscow could lose its naval base in Sevastopol. Uh, I should uh, say that it is impossible. Russia will not leave Crimea. Other analysts say Crimea's majority ethnic Russians have as much right to decide their future as the protesters in Kyiv's Maidan or Independence Square did. The illegal actions undertaken in Crimea were provoked by the Maidan because the minute they started postulating revolutionary reasoning, as soon as they said there are no laws for us because we're fighting the Yanukovych regime, they provoked everyone else to doing the same, to disregard the law. Russian political analysts say the prospects for Ukraine range from bad to very bad, as the country's economy, paralyzed by the power vacuum and months of protests, is sliding towards default on its national debt. And as Russia has extended its support to ousted Viktor Yanukovych, Moscow's promise of a multi-billion dollar aid package may never be kept. Darya Bondarchuk, CCTV, Moscow.